Hello everyone, this is Black Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the collective. Um, collective meaning all signs. So, um, collective, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid, so this reading can manifest whenever. It can manifest later on down the line of time. It can manifest, um, or this could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, collective, I'm, I'm gearing this reading on a specific topic. It's pertaining to, like, hackers, um... People that's involved in like identity theft, but specifically hackers, the dark web, and things like that. So, collective, we just gonna do a reading to see what's going on with that. Um, some of you guys could be a victim of it, a victim to hacking, major or minor, or like attempted hacking and things like that. So, that's what I'm gearing this reading towards: hacking and like the dark web. So, I did get messages during the pre-shuffle. And the messages that I got was, um, collective, it could be an opportunity of, um, an opportunity available for you. But your opportunity might get delayed because of hacking the dark web. Or hackers want to take an opportunity for from you. Some of you guys that might get delayed... Or the hackers are working towards taking an opportunity from you guys. I also picked up like a um, a corporation, like an entity. Um, collective, maybe you work for this corporation or you used to work for this corporation. Um, but I picked up the energy. Someone um, probably used to work for a corporation. And they're the one that's hacking because... A business or something could have relocated. I heard that somebody, um, the relocation of this business in a in previous employer, a previous employee could have gotten upset because they they were they were they was not able to relocate with the business. So that's one of the reasons why somebody's hacking. It's um, out of revenge and anger. Because this corporation could have relocated. And, uh, and I guess this person was, a able to, was not able to relocate with the job or something like that. Or maybe before this business relocated, they could have laid some people off. And one of the hackers are one of the people that could have got laid off or something. So that's what I heard um, specifically during the pre-shuffle. So this could be this um energy could be for people individually, like personally, and as well as um businesses and corporations and things like that. And for some of you guys, um, it was it's previous employees or something like that that's doing it. I heard they couldn't make the move. They couldn't make the move or something like that. Well, for some of you guys, these people was laid off. Because of the, uh, I guess, the relocation or something. Or something like that. Collective for other you guys concerning you, your personal life individually. Um, or if you're getting hacked separate from like an entity or organization or something. It could be an ex-lover or a lover that's doing this. It could be a lover or like family or something like that that's doing it too. But someone may be getting arrested or something like that. Collective, you could also be a victim of some type of identity theft um, or hacking. And these people was laughing at you because you were innocent and you could have got arrested and you were innocent. It's something, somebody did something, somebody could have ciphered your energy or switched some files or... Um, collective, you could have been going to court or something, and these hackers could have went and 
hacked into your device and deleted some files off of your device from through hacking. So maybe you couldn't you couldn't thoroughly prove your case in court because of these hackers or something like that. So collective is like you may be getting arrested or you could have got arrested in the past and the hackers thought it was funny. So basically somebody wanted a reason to celebrate at your expense by hacking. So collective, somebody could have um, hacked into your device and took out some documents or some type of something from your device or something like that. So I'm hearing some of you guys was not able to properly prove your case because of hackers. So, oh, I also picked up the message that um, <clears throat> collectors, uh, collective for some of you guys, these hackers, they wanted, they did it. Um, they wanted you to be sorry or something. Somebody wanted you to be sorry or. I don't know. So something could be personal. Somebody could have hacked someone. It was personal. It wasn't business. It was personal. Collective for some of you guys, somebody who could have um, victimized you pertaining to hacking and or identity theft. Um, this person or these people might want to apologize to you or somebody did it because they wanted you to be sorry. So or something like that. Or they wanted you to crawl back to them and beg for forgiveness or something. But. Let me pull some messages from the cards. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, I'm going to get a message from the guides about these hackers. All right. Give me a message concerning the hackers or hacking. Follow the golden rule. So that's the guy's message to the hackers. They need to follow the golden rule. Honesty is the best policy. Or treat people how you want to be treated. Or the punishment got to fit the crime. Somebody's so collective. These hackers, they're not being fair. They're not playing fair. For some of y'all, these people is hacking. is for business purposes or some type of gain or profit. For other you guys, these people hacking because of a personal vendetta they have against you. And these people need to follow the golden rule. Because basically, they wouldn't want anyone to hack them or steal their identity. So why are they doing it to other people? <laughs> they wouldn't want it to happen to them. So they need to follow the golden rule. Then we have lead by example. So, collective, for some of you guys, these hackers, they're leaders of some sort. They're leaders of some sort. These hackers could be in an in, in authoritative um, position. Collective, this could also be a, a form of gang stalking. Um, this could be a boss. It could be a parent. It could be a husband. It could be a mother. It could be a father. Somebody in an authoritative position could have other people um, helping them hack you. And these people need to lead by example. So, collective, for some of y'all, I heard this is your ex-wife or your ex-husband. And maybe your ex-wife or your ex-husband is hacking you with your kids. Like, the kids is down with this. This could be a form of gang stalking. Or something. Some type of leadership. Somebody in leadership is doing this. Or somebody in an in, in authoritative position. And it's more than one person. 
that they have um, working with together to hack you. Oh, for some of y'all, I'm hearing if it's in business, it's, it's about competition. So this could be one um, agency doing it to another agency. And maybe this agency, it could be like a manager or a boss or a business owner. And they're hacking because of competition. And this other workers that's helping this person hack, hack or something like that. So I, for some of y'all heard, this is about competition and that's why they're hacking and they have people that work under them. That's helping them hack or something. <clears throat> so collective, um, whoever's hacking you, if you're a victim of being hacked or, um, um, some way or another, your information can be on the dark web because of hackers, whether it's business or personal. Collective um, love is your energy. Collective live your bliss. In spite of being victimized, live your bliss. Collective, um, you can have a clear conscience. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody wants you to pay for something, but it's unwarranted. For some of you guys, this is a personal vendetta. And these people are wrong because love is your energy. So somebody want to wrongfully make you suffer and by hacking your devices or whatever or stealing your identity. But collective spirit want to confirm to you, the guys want to confirm to you that love is your energy. Whatever these people are doing to you, what this per person is doing to you, you do not deserve it. They're wrongfully coming up against you and spirit wants you to live your bliss in spite of this attempted victimization. Um, collective spirit wants you to appreciate your talents. So collective, this could have been a business partner or a secret enemy you had in business or somebody could be jealous of your talents. So collective, whatever you do for your, whatever your talents are, you could be tempted to give up on your talents or stop working because someone victimized you. But spirit is telling you to appreciate your talents. So collective, because of, because of hackers victimizing you, I heard you're tempted to resent your talents. Because of being victimized. You're tempted to resent your talents. And the guys is telling you to appreciate your talents. Or collective, you could be saying, what did I do wrong? Like, or something like that. But collective, you didn't do nothing wrong. It's like an attack on your self-esteem, your person. Or it's affecting your self-esteem or your person. And the guys is telling you to appreciate your talents. Don't resent your talents because of the attack. Appreciate your ta talents in spite of the attack. Yeah. So collective, whoever this person or these people or this organization that's hacking, spirit, the guys is telling this person or these people to let go of their ego. So collective, for some of you guys, these people or this person, their ego is cowardness. They're, they hide behind devices and gadgets. In collective, you probably don't know who's doing it specifically. And that's their ego. Like some people say, no face, no case. That's these people's ego. Or these people are saying, you will never figure it out. Or you will never find me. Or if they can be uh, very... Um, these people could be very um, skilled in technology, and that's their ego. So, I see in the cards, and I feel in the cards, this person or these people is like power tripping. They're saying they're doing it because they can. They're doing it because they can. So, some of you guys, somebody's power tripping. This is a power trip. Collective, for some of y'all, this could be your um your husband or your ex-husband. 
that's doing this to you? In collective, I heard this man say that he owns you. So it's a man out a man out here that's uh he say he own you or he feel as though he own you or something. But he need to lead, lead by example. All right, what's the name of the message? Yep, collective, feel joy in all you do. Yeah. So collective also, somebody's hacking you because they want you to stop doing something. So collective, for some of you guys, say like you're married and you have an online business. And collective, your husband could be against your online business. He's the one who's hacking you because he wants you to stop. He wants you to stop with your talents. Um, your your online business could be successful as well. I don't know if your husband is jealous of you or he wants you to depend on him. I don't know. But for some of you guys, that's the scenario. Somebody could have an online business or an online platform of some sort. And somebody wants you to stop. So collective, you're doing something online with your talents and somebody don't like it. So collective, for some of y'all, this could be your own boss or manager or something. Or a co-worker doing this to y'all. Collective, you could have recently got a promotion. And this could be a jealous co-worker or something. Because of your promotion or something. But collective, the guys want you to feel joy in all you do. Live your bliss and appreciate your talents. In spite of these hackers or hacking. Yeah, inspire others, yeah. So these this person or these people or this organization. The guys is telling these people to inspire others. Collector, for some of you guys, this could be somebody that's unemployed. I'm picking that up too. This is somebody who's unemployed. So somebody's doing this out of jealousy. In collective, um, I, I feel in the cards that the guys is telling this person to. So collective, for some of you guys, this is a personal vendetta. And somebody's miserable, they're unhappy. And they don't like the fact that you're happy, that love is your energy. You have joy. And the guy is telling this person to get up and inspire others instead of sitting at home and hacking you or stealing your identity this person should go off and inspire others instead of zoning in on you and trying to make your life miserable collective for some of y'all this could be a new lover a collective for some of y'all this person that's hacking this person is unsuspecting for some of y'all, this could be a new lover. Um, collective, somebody wants to know something about you. And instead of this person allowing nature to take its course and waiting for you to open up, this person just decided to steal your identity or to hack your or hack you. So this person needs to be patient with you, collective. So collective, this could be a new lover. This could be a, for some of y'all, this is a karmic lover. Or this is some of y'all, this y'all spouse. And they want to know something, a collective maybe. Um, collective, for some of y'all, this could be a lover that suspect you're cheating. Or collective, like I said, for some of y'all, this is a new lover. And this person want to know, like, all your business. They just want you to tell them all your business. And collective, it's like, you could have known this person for a month or maybe a week. And this person want to know everything about you. Like, where you work at, how much you make, who your friends are, who your exes are. 
So they decide to steal your identity or hack your device. Or hack into their hacking. Because they're impatient. So collective, for some of y'all, be careful because this could be a karmic lover. It's like collective, you only known this lover for like a week or maybe a month. And this lover is acting as if you guys been married for like seven years, ten years. So they feel as they feel entitled to something that they should not feel entitled to. And that could be your personal business. They feel entitled to information. <clears throat> yeah somebody's overstepping boundaries so collective for some of y'all this could be a new lover or collective this could be an um, employer of some sort somebody needs to be patient with you collective so, collective, whatever this person or these people want to know is letting me know it's a partnership there. But these people don't want to wait. It's like they want to know everything now. So, they hack or they steal your identity. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody could have stole your identity. And they're calling places and posing as you to get your information. So, for some of you guys, it's not necessarily hacking. It's the identity theft. So, it's like they stole your identity and they're impersonating you. They're calling places to get your information. So, collective, this could be people calling your doctor's office. Collective, this could be family, friends, and lovers. And since you won't be open... About maybe what's going on with your health. It's like these people is overstepping boundaries. And they they could be trying to call your doctor or something posing as you. Yep. Alright. Give me some messages about these hackers or pertaining to this hacking. Humor, yeah. So collective spirit is telling you to choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Don't let this person, these people, or the situation um, tie you down, collective. So spirit wants you to choose to focus on the lighter side of life, yeah. Collective, for some of you guys, these hackers just want to cause you stress. They want to weigh you down. They want you to be sad. They want you to be burdened. They want you to be paranoid. They want you to hold resentment. Um, they want you to harbor negativity. They just want you to be negative, be down. And that's why spirit is telling you to live your bliss. Be happy in spite of this drama. So for some of y'all, this is like a personal vendetta. Somebody just wants to like... Um, Spew negative energy or cause you low vibrational, low vibrational circumstances in your life. They want you to be down in the dumps. They want you to be depressed and things like that. Turn that down just a little bit. <sighs> Collective, I'm also picking up. These people, they're taking something too far. This person or these people, they could be extremists. Collective, the, the cards could be telling me to tell these hackers. They need to choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Collective, you could have been in disagreement with this person or these people. And they just decided to like hack your device or steal your identity because of a disagreement. So, Collective, I heard something, it wasn't even that serious, and somebody offended you to, the, like, yeah, it, yeah, this person or these people offended you, um, it's, it just, it did, mm-mm, because the punishment got to fit the crime. Yeah. 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 
So collecting this humor and this peace could be for you and or the person that's offending you. So collect the spirit wants you to choose to focus on the lighter side of life and to release all negative energy. Yeah, friendship. So collective, for some of y'all, a friend could be doing this. Or somebody you call a friend or someone you think is your friend. So this is some type of betrayal. This is also my card sometimes for like when Judas betrayed Jesus. Like the ultimate betrayal. Yeah. So it could be a betrayal out here. So collective spirit wants you in spite of this betrayal, in spite of the audacity. Spirit wants you to choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Release negative energy because of a, a betrayal. Somebody you thought was a friend. Yeah. Or somebody you held in high regards or... Um, someone who could have had a position of authority over you. Collective for some of y'all, this could be a parent. This could be a spouse. This could be your boss at work. This could be a business partner, a co-worker. Empathy, yeah. So, collective, I don't know, but Spirit wants you to um, be open to seeing both sides of a situation. Mm. Acceptance. Yeah. So, co collective, for some of y'all, Spirit wants you to accept something. <clears throat> Yeah. Fear. So collective, I'm picking up. You're going to be all right. You're going to get through this. Um, Collective, I'm hearing the, 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 the most of it all. Spirit wants you to protect your energy. In spite of you being a victim of identity theft, a betrayal, um, I'm hearing fraud. Collective spirit wants you to protect your energy. I heard you're gonna be a, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna get through this. You're gonna get over this. So, Collective Spirit wants you to realize that you're testing your resolve to live in the energy of love. Collective, I also see in the cards, this energy is for the person that offended you or victimized you. Yeah. So, collective, the, your, who, your offender should show you empathy. So, collective, it's like, this is like somebody asking you a personal question and you saying no. Or, collective, rightfully, you was protecting your privacy and somebody dominated the law or dominated you. So, it's like, collective, whoever wanted to know your personal affairs or your personal business and they dominated the situation... This person needs to be open to seeing your side of the story. So, collective, for some of y'all, this could be your spouse. So, collective, this is like your spouse have to learn, even though y'all married, you don't have to tell them everything. You're not their slave. This person does not own you. Or, collective, you had the right morally, morally legally, to tell this person no. Or collective, maybe, like I said, for some of y'all, this could be a new lover. And collective, you probably didn't trust this lover. I don't know what this lover was asking you, but you probably didn't trust them. And it's like collective, rightfully so. 
It's like if you've known someone for only a week or a month, it's certain things you tell a new person, a new lover, and certain things you don't. Collective, somebody out here a little crazy, a little bit, or they felt entitled to you, or somebody could have a God complex or something. It's like this person need to show you empty about why you told them no. Or collective, maybe you have a hard time trusting people or something. Collective, you was a friend to this person and they dominated you for no reason. It wasn't warranted. And collective, something is the way it is. Collective, this could be somebody you're breaking up with. Or this could be your ex-lover or ex-spouse. And this person just needs to accept it. So, collective, for some of y'all, this could be an ex. Or collective, for some of y'all, you're the employer. And you could have relocated. And collective, it's not your fault that you could have relocated the business. And this person was not able to make the move with you. So, it's like this person was hacking or something. This person just need to accept something or something. Because something wasn't personal. Collective, something you could have did, this person took it personal. And it's like, collective, love is your energy. This person needs to practice love. Or collective, you love this person, but this person don't love you. Yeah, this it's like this this person need to love themselves and see themselves in everyone. Or collective, this person thought they were better than you. Collective, for some of y'all, I heard this person could be scared. Collective, for some of you guys, the person that could have victimized you, they could be under investigation. 3D or 5D investigation. And now they scared. So, Collective, I'm hearing this person is being humble the same way you're already humble. This person is being humble because, Collective, you're already in the energy of love. And this person is learning how to be in the energy of love. And sometimes love is minding your business, giving people freedom. Nobody owns anyone. There's no slaves. Nobody owns nobody. You have to give people freedom and the right to their privacy. That's a form of love, to give people a right to their privacy. So, collective, I heard for some of y'all, whoever victimized you, they're like in fear. They're afraid. Yeah, courage, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Collective, for some of you guys, you, yeah, somebody in court, somebody's in court, and somebody's afraid that something might come out in court or get exposed in court about somebody stealing somebody's identity or somebody hacking. Or collective, you could already be aware of what this person did to you. And this person terrified that you might expose them in court. Or this person is terrified that you have proof that they were hacking or they stole your identity. Or something like that. Yeah, patience, yep. I accept that everything happens in divine order, yep. So, collective, be patient. If you was a victim of, like, identity theft or somebody hacking you, especially if it was, like, personal. Or, no, not especially, but in, in all situations, whether it was personal or business. It's like, collective, just be patient. Everything happens in divine order. Even justice, karmic justice, um, the truth being exposed, being vindicated. It's going to happen for you in divine order. Whoever victimized you. You're going to get karmic justice in divine orders. So just be patient. Yep. Be patient.
And collective, remember when I said that um the person who's doing this could be in a position of authority or leadership. And it could be a group of them that's offending you. I heard the divine order could be by age. So it's like spirit is doing something in divine order. So it could be from youngest to the oldest or oldest to the youngest. Or the level of position. Spirit is convic causing convictions in divine order or exposure in divine order. So collective, say like this is your ex-wife or your ex-husband doing this to you. And you got three kids by your ex. It's like collective, depending on the divine order, spirit might go start with the youngest, like your child. So, it's, it's, it's happening in divine order. It's like your youngest child going to feel bad first. And then your second oldest going to feel bad first. And then the oldest going to feel bad. And then it's going to hit your spouse, your ex-spouse, that they was wrong. That's the, something that's happening in divine order. And something like that. So, collective, just be patient about something. Collective, for some of y'all, um, y'all could be married, and this could be your wife as well, disrespecting you. Collective, I just heard that too. That's a scenario for somebody. This could be somebody's wife doing this. Or somebody's mother doing this. Hacking or some type of identity theft. <clears throat> and I also want to um just make a suggestion. Um because um what kind of one of the things that kind of like uh prompted me to like do this reading because i was watching a movie for over the i've been binge watching a movie the pa over the past like two days and it's called the si the silent pact it's on netflix well i'm watching it on on netflix but um it just um that's one of the things that uh i heard sponsored <laughs> That's one of the things that um kind of like gave me the idea to like uh, do this reading geared specifically on hacking and identity theft and things like that. It's a good movie and I would recommend watching that movie because it's a good movie about karma and people being humble and um, life injustices and things like that. Just life in general and things like that. Um, so, um, but it's like what I, what I learned and it's like, it's like things happen in life for a reason. And, um, everybody has a hero. Everybody has who they look up to. And who that who they admire, and um, one of the people or the person I look up to is um, what's the word? I can't get the word I'm really looking for, but it's like um, people have people they worship. And things they worship and stuff. And one of the people that has allowed me, or should I say an ancestor or a God who has allowed me to maneuver through life a certain type of way is Jesus and stuff like that. So, and, um, it's like, I don't really care too much. Because when life is good, it's good. And when life go bad, it's bad. But it's like when you in those moments when life is not going good, it's like you have to know how to maneuver through those hard times or those dark times. 
So, in spite of life, you got to be mindful of energies, choices that you make, and things like that. Because um, life happens to us all, and justices happen to us all. And sometimes while you're going through things, you have to have an example. You have to um, have somebody you honor and respect, someone you look up to. And um, like I said, one of the people I honor and respect to the best of my ability and look up to, whether, li whether life is good or bad, especially when it's bad, is, is Jesus. And um, I know a couple of years, years, years ago, I was going through something. And it dawned on me, you know, because my father, and people feel as though, some people feel as though I use it as a crutch. But it's not really a crutch. It's just my go-to for a preference or a reference to me to, for me to remember. Um, 